What's up everyone, this is Amy from TSC077 and today we are going to be comparing Angel 4.0 versus Angel 4.1 and versus Angel 4.2. We're going to see what changed in the and This video isn't really meant to be anything, it's just for fun. For people who are bored right now on YouTube just watching random videos. Anyway, so we're going to be doing Angel 4.0 on the Samsung Galaxy S1, which is the vibrant version. The Angel 4.1 Jelly Bean one and it's gonna be on the HTC One S and Angel 4.2 will be of course on the Google Nexus 4. So let's go ahead and get started with the lock screen. I wanted to show the boot animation, but I don't have the official boot animations on there because it's custom runs, you know. So lock screen, lock screen, lock screen, lock screen. So as you see still a time at the top different fonts of course different fonts in everyone everyone and right here let's say right here we got and then opens it and then when you when you click right here you see a circle and then see a circle right here right here it's different now in jelly bean you don't see a circle you see like some kind of dots when you move it around and now you don't only have the camera and the lot the unlock thing you also have google now which we're going to be talking about later Anyway, so, um, what also changed? Up here, we, we uh, they got the, ba the bat battery percent, which they don't have right here. And right here, let's say what changed from 4.1 to 4.2. These are still the same, except that you don't have any shortcut anymore. Because, um, actually in the official Angel 4.2, you gotta get a navigation bar, which I don't have right now. And then you swipe up for Google. For the camera, you gotta swipe from right here because you get official pages on Angel 4.2. You just let it go if you want the camera, and you you could add more pages if you want to. It's it's your choice. And then if you wanna just unlock it, then it's gotta be right here. And the charging thing moved from the top, moved from the top right here on to the middle, right here. All right. So let's un and by the way, um. All phones, I mean all versions are still the same and got the same lock screen options, still no new lock screens. So what are they? They're they are not hold on. None, slide, face unlock, pattern, pin, and password. They all have the same ones, alright? So right now let's go ahead and check out the home screens, of course. And go home, and then gonna use the stock one. So as you see, between 4.1 and 4.1, not, nothing really changed for me, you know. Except of course for the wallpaper. But um, from 4.1 to 4.1, now I gotta say that the icons got a little bit small, a little bit smaller. But that's from the DPI because you got two different phones. The dog changed uh, kind of a little bit, but not much. But the uh, the icons are smaller just because they got. Uh, different phones and different DPIs scroll thing and everything still the same every 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 other thing is still exactly the same all right except for the navigation bar i mean the google search bar up there which changed from my bad which changed from transparent to gray between 4.1 to 4.2 what changed as you see um the icons at the dock pushed a little bit together and that's pretty much it Everything else, like the clock changed a little bit, but you can change the clock, of course. And that's pretty much it, alright? So when you go to the app drawer between 4.0 and 4.1, you see a 4 by 5 grid, and then nothing actually changed from the official, like the stock apps. Nothing, and no icons changed. Everything's still the same. We're going to be talking about the apps in a second, alright? So, but when you go to the app drawer in Android, Android 4.3, I mean 4.2, you're going to see a 5x5 grid, not a 4x5. Um, that's only kind of like for big phones. Like like not big, big phones. Like this is a 4.7 inch screen. For me, it's small in front of the Note 2 and all them. But you're going to see a 4x5 grid, you know. You also see like I, I flash into 4.2 on this. And, but I don't really see, I did not really see a 5x5. A, a Depends on the size of the phone, of course. Oh yeah, and one thing changed, which is the camera icon between 4.1 and 4.2. And there's no more browser, they got Chrome. But you still get the browser if you flash the custom ROM, but you got Chrome or an official stock, you know. So let's go ahead and see what changed in the camera. Um, The icon between 4.1 and 4.2 changed, and that's because they got some a whole new UI in the camera. So let's go ahead and check out the camera here, the camera here, and the camera here. 
So as you see, between 4.0 and 4. Point, uh, I mean, yeah, 4.0 and 4.1, you don't really see much changes. You don't see any changes at all. Still the same, and yep, no changes. But between 4.1 and 4.2, you see a lot of changes in the UI. You know, see, they don't, they don't got no more this big thing to disturb. You know, I just yeah, that I'm I'm happy they got rid of that. I never liked it. I just like it that way, like the way there is nothing to disturb while taking a picture. So what else changed? Right here, now you get Photosphere, which is take a 360 shot. Like you know when you go view Google Street, Google Street. I mean like Street View in Google in Google Maps. You see the whole thing around you. You do that in Photosphere. And if you want to zoom in, uh, if you want to zoom in, you just you know do this. You could also do it do it here. Nah, you actually can't. Anyway, so that that kind of change. If you want to go settings in 4.1, go to settings in 4.0 and 4.1. You gotta click on the settings icon, and if you want to focus, you see like a square, a, a square thing, you know, like this one. Anyway, so if you wanna, if you wanna go to settings here, you can just click here and, to get up the menu, and you can just navigate with your with your finger. All right. So let's say I want flash. I just hit flash, and then I was gonna show me at the bottom that I got flash. I got flash right now. If, you, if I want to switch cameras, I can just hit the switch to camera. If I want to change colors and everything, I can do that too. And if I want to go to settings, I just swipe here, and then you guys, it's going to tell me stuff. So, it's going to tell me, like, well, the settings. Show me the settings. So, um, the video, nothing changed else. But here's something I really liked in the Oh, yeah, that was from the camera. But something I liked from the video here is because they got, they got, I think it was this, yep. I don't think they have that here no more, huh? Yup, and I don't think they have that. They do have that in 4.2. That's because probably they use the camera JB Plus or something like that. But, nah, but, I'm, but they don't have that in 4.2 no more. And if you want to access your pictures in 4.2, just wipe here. If you want to access your pictures... My bad. If you want to access your pictures here, you can just also swipe. Here, you got to click on the button itself in order to access the pictures. Let's check out the browser, and we're not gonna check out this browser, all right? So we we gonna check out Chrome browser and browser. What ha what have changed? You know, um, let's go ahead and enable Wi-Fi here. I I still didn't enable it. One second. All right, so let's go ahead and add a tab, and yep, that's it. Anyways, so um, as you see, nothing much changed. If you swipe up here and swipe up here, you gotta see these, these. But here you got you get tabs, and and you get options here. Yeah, but not much is uh, of a big deal, you know. You get the uh, right this right here because they don't really have um a, an option button in the official JB. So you change to Chrome, but between 4.0 and 4.1, like when you get tabs. And everything in the browser here you actually you don't get you only get on um, bookmarks in this and right here you all you get home um add a tab bookmarks and incognito tab i think and they do have incognito tab here though but you gotta click the menu the menu button in, in order to access it now that we're done from this let's go ahead and go into the jump into the um the notification area Let's jump into the status bar first. As you see, between 4.0 and 4.4.0 and 4.1, nothing actually changed again. Not that for me, like it wasn't really that big jump from 4.1, 4.0 to 4.1. I didn't really that see that big of a that big changes except for Google now, of course. But the same status bar, same of the, and also in 4.2 you get the same status bar, but I move the clock for the middle. For the middle and change and I I customized it you know, but they they don't have any any changing in the status bar at all. If you pull down the navigation bar, if you pull down the status bar and to get to the uh, not the navigation bar the status bar and to get to the net no notification area you're gonna see some changes between 4.1 and 4.1 and 4.0 this does not cover the status on uh, this does not cover like the stat you can still see the status bar while this is down while in 4.0 and 4.1 you can't see it no more it covers the whole status bar so you get the time up here and you also get if you want to swipe away these and let's say you get you take a screenshot 
And then if you want to take a screenshot here, let's say I don't have a screenshot yet. But let's say you want to take a screenshot here. How do you take a screenshot here? I think like that. Nope. Yep, that's a screenshot. And let's take a screenshot here too. Let me take a screenshot, some screenshot. Now when first you take a screenshot, you realize it's all the same right here. Except for this is this is a little bit colored more, you know. But they're they're mostly they're mostly the same, alright? So but in four point one they added a thing called line notifications where you could expand these. See, I'm mean, you could expand it and you could do that with emails and a lot more. You could do that with emails and you could do that with um Gmails of course and now they got WhatsApp support if you get a, if you get more than one one message from WhatsApp or regular message you could ju you could just swipe those down so you, so you see all the other messages and what else changed this um the emergency calls now it's still at the bottom but like you see there's a circle a circle right here at the bottom that you pull up here you don't have a circle no more you got a bar that lights up blue when you want to pull it up and so as in 4.2 so, but uh, another cool feature in 4.2 that they added, which made life more more comfortable, which is a really small thing, but it counts. Like when you want to well, pull up the navigation bar, you don't have the status bar. You don't really have to pull it up from the bottom. You you could just do it from the middle and just pull it up. You can't really do that in 4.0 or nor 4.1. Another another really big thing that really made me change my mind um of being like you know like. A fanboy, like a touchless fanboy, that made me made me lean a little bit more to stock Android, cause I, I'm cause everyone knows I, I love touchless, but you know. Anyway, so uh, it's it's quick settings. You can access all your settings here. I customize it again, of course. But um, I hope that in the next Android version you could customize it. Like this is all custom, uh, custom ROMs and everything. So you you get all your shortcuts right here. You get yourself settings and all these kind of stuff. Here you don't get it. You just get a you just get um an area. Um, I mean like um an icon to click on like a shortcut settings. Another thing is that and when you flash a custom ROM, you could really get not the same as those, but you could get them like right here like this. But you know. Not everyone's root in Flash a custom ROM. Now, before we talk about multitasking, which will be our last part, let's talk about Google, uh, the search menu, alright? So, let's go ahead and try and click the search button here, then the search button here. Let me set up Google now first. And the search button here, and the search button here. You're going to see different stuff, you know. Um, Here, you're going to see all these kind of stuff because this is Angel 4.0 and higher. Hold on, let me focus that. Nope, then focus here. Maybe a little focus here. Well, this is better for the camera. Anyway, so when you wanna um, let's say like when you wanna foc when you open the Google the Google Buzz search, you're gonna see um on Android 4.0 you're gonna see this, which is the normal one, the old one. On Android 4.1 you're gonna see something new, which is called Google Now. Google now allows you to see everything that, like, you know, like, follow, and everything, like, I got all the soccer games right here, and then at the bottom, you got the weather, and then, it depends what you want, and then you can update at the, in the App Store, of course, on the Play Store, and so as in Android 4.2, and Android 4.2, you get some uh, other Google Now stuff, but, um, but still, like, not that big of a deal between 4.1 and 4.2, the Google Now thing, it just, like, checks packages of any other thing, and everything. I think you could do that on age of 4.1, but not so sure about it. All right. So uh, let me show you uh, a total of Google now. Like, let's say here you ask a question. No, just speak now. What's the weather today? Like, it's gonna take a little bit long and everything, and, you know. So, it's gonna show you the weather, but not actually, like, a voice assistant, alright? So, let me put up the volumes a little bit so you could hear. What's the weather today? Today's forecast from Marrero. The 
Louisiana is 78 degrees with a thunderstorm. See, you like it, uh, it talks to you and everything, it talks to you back. It's kind of like Siri, but a little bit better. That's what I gotta say. It's a little bit, it's better than Siri. But, uh, you know, Google Now is, in, is like for 4.0, for my bad, for 4.1 and higher. Um, not available for Android 4.2, for 4.0, not sure about it. Um, we'll, we'll check. But Google Now is a really cool feature. I, I really love it, and it's kind of like a daily usage, like something I use daily. So right now, let's talk about our last thing, which will be multitasking. Android has been famous for its true multitasking, not like iOS. Um, sorry, iOS fans. Nope, psych. I'm not really sorry for y'all. Anyway, so Android has been famous for its multitasking and for its new way of multitasking on Android 4.0, but then it got a little bit better on 4.1, and um, a, a really better design and faster on 4.2. So, uh, um, on a Samsung phone, you can just hold down the power button, and I mean the home button, and then you're gonna get this, the thumbnails, if you got if HTC most of the time, you get this button, and Google, you know what to do. Google fans know what to do. So, what you're gonna get is your, your recent apps. Recent apps are really cool, um, like this is really cool if you want to switch between two apps fast, as fast as you could. Now let's check how you're going to switch between apps in 4.0. My bad, I closed it. That's how you close it, you just swipe it away in all, like you could hold it down and you move it and you could just swipe it away. You could hold it down to here. And let's say if you want to go ahead and open one, you just open it and then it's going to open. So let's go ahead and try and open this. It's like it's just gonna open here. Let's say you want to open it, it's gonna expand. And right here, it will also expand by a little bit faster. Like the animations change. And let's say you want to go back, you just hold it down, and then right here, it's gonna open in the in front of the app. Right here, also, same thing. But right here, it's gonna like minimize, and then it's gonna show you the background at the end, like your home screen background. And that's really cool. I, I really like multitasking on 4.0. More, I mean, on 4.2, more than any type of multitasking ha that's have been ever done before, and you can just switch stuff between uh, switch between apps real fast. Um, something that I, I, I really I really like, and it, it really helps, really useful. So I got nothing else to say, nothing else to compare. Like, let's say I want to compare something else. What will I compare? Contacts? No, I'm not about to do that. Calculator? No, who cares? Um. Well, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day, night, whenever, and wherever you're watching us. And see you on my next video. Subscribe for more. And I'm sorry if you didn't like that video. I'm really not really that guy who can do perfect videos on YouTube, you know. Like, you know, I'm still kind of new. But anyways, thanks for watching, and see y'all in my next video. I'm going to just wait till it's 18 minutes, 30 seconds, or 18 minutes, 20 seconds. All right, bye-bye.